here we go I've already popped the hood latch so we're gonna come in on it right now and you'll be able to see it we'll start at the very top okay so you can see it here we have an HHO feed line right here this is it right there as you can see and it definitely goes in here you know to a set of insuries inside to the throttle body which is located back here on this model Dodge this is a 4.7 liter V8 Dodge uh, they call it the Magnum motor so how suitable a Dodge Magnum motor with a mag drive Magnum HHO generator and of course we follow the hose all the way back this is the Venturi hose and if we follow that all the way back and down you'll see here it comes down to a Y right here and from here is where it splits to the gen but if you notice further on down here we've got a crossover between the two also alright but now let's back up a little bit so you can see it and we'll get a better picture of things of course I'm in the shadow here so let me see if I can get over to a side where it's not too bright and as you can see right there there are four amp meters like so on the top and there's all your bus wiring and everything right there and your hoses and it goes to a power distribution panel which is right there and from there it comes up and it actually goes with a heavy cable here which you can see right there that's a number two cable the number two cable comes up and goes over here to the positive side of the battery and this unit turns on the same way a regular super gen mini gen or all the other gens turn on with one of those little things called an ATA circuit and here's the wire for the ATA circuit that goes in there to the uh, power switch and in the Dodge the ATA circuit is right here as you can see it there it is right there with the crimp and you go up and look and there's the ATA circuit right there in the center that's what it looks like two fuses hooked together into the slot where one fuse originally was and then it comes out and it pigtails and from there the wire just goes out and around and inside to the power switch okay and then down in there to the power switch which you may and may not be able to see it it'll be a little bit difficult but here it is right here is the red wire and it goes into the firewall to the power switch alright and of course everything here comes back out of the power switch because here's the black wire on the return right here and then it comes back out again and goes down here to the bus distribution panel which will zoom out and you can see that and each particular cell on the gen has its own particular fuse protection one two three and four and then here's a 20 amp for the master control and a spare well here's a 20 amp here and the spare up above okay a spare 20 amp or up above fed again by a, like a number two cable and now we're going to down and look at the gen which here it is right here and we'll straighten it out because it's on an angle right now and you'll be able to look down there and there is the gen itself right here little confusing to see and look at but it'll give you some idea alright as you look down here's one gas outlet two gas outlets so that's cell one and two and the two of those come together right here okay and then we come over here to cell number three and cell number four which is right here and those two come together and go up right there and follow it around and they go behind the amp meter and the wiring harnesses and everything and then the two cells come back together here cell one and two cells three and four to a common feed line so you know what a super gen can do you've seen the movies 
Now imagine four supergens all working together at the same time, controlled by a series of relays, which it's very difficult to see down in here, but uh, you'll get an idea. Here's a water solenoid switch right here. All right, and then if you look closely, there's a pair of solenoids. There's two here, one and two, and you come over here, and there's two here, one and two, and then you look in the back, there's two more back there, and two more back there, and then in the center back here, off of that bolt, there's a master relay. And, of course, you can see all the wiring and stuff, and you can see the harness that comes up and feeds one, two, three, four amp meters, and they come out of the amp meters then and go to the master bus. And we're going to get down here now on the ground so you can see what it looks like underneath. So here we go. Excuse the camera work. And here we are underneath. As you can see, here's the unit right there. And that's the mag drive magnum all hooked up behind the front bumper of a Dodge. Rather involved, it'll take an experienced installer at least eight hours, at least eight hours to do this, okay, to put this in. This is very, very involved. Let me see if I can zoom out just a little bit, if I can get under here, because I'm under the vehicle with you right now. And we'll see if we can zoom out. No, we're out as far as we can go. And, of course, these two lines you're looking at right here, one and two, and there's two more on the other side. This is what goes to the auto fill tank, this one and this one. They're solenoid controlled from the water solenoids that you saw. Here's one water solenoid here and another water solenoid there, right here and there, like in the ones you saw up above. And they all come together and they go to a reserve tank, which I'm going to show you that as soon as I find a way to crawl out from underneath this truck. Because right now, it's a little tight. Hold on one second. We'll back up just a little bit so you can get a view here of where it all goes. And you'll notice it sits right there at the same height as the bottom of the bumper. So if the bumper clears it, it won't get hit. It's cleared. All right, here we come around again. We're coming up. Swing around past the new shop. And here is the reserve tank, right here. This is a one gallon tank. This is gravity fed. As you can see, here's where the one gallon tank is located. And it comes out right here. And then it splits with a pair of T's, etc. so forth, right here. And that feeds two cells here, and it splits the other way to two cells back there that you just saw the solenoids before. And as you see, it's got the four amp meters on it, so you know what you've got, and you know what it looks like. Uh, I'm not the best of cameramen or anything, but this will give you a basic idea of what the new MagDrive Magnum Series units are going to look like and what it takes to install one. It is involved. There's all instructions with doing it. It's not that difficult. It's just time consuming. That's all. So that's about it. So hope this was informative and a little bit entertaining. And you all take care of yourself. I thank you much. And bye-bye.